this is Blazing Upon Zoo, and I'm going to have to get a few things off my chest. Please note that this isn't anything mean-spirited. I wanted to gl clarify some things, even though some of you are not going to get it at all, especially for the length of this video. So here we go. First off, let's talk about plot specifics about Bogus Windows Errors, Season 3. I guess I should uh, I guess I should talk about who is actually the antagonist, giving one comment so I jump into conclusions to thinking I'm attacking Daxter5150. Well, short answer, it's a big resounding no. Mid-sized answer, it's it originally was when an art theft happened with someone, especially when I was bombarded with spiteful attack comments over me defending the art theft victim. It actually led me to making a full-blown rant video, which went unpublished, but let's just say that it's a sign that I want to go, uh, to go all-out rage mode. I'm not even sure if I even worded it properly. I don't know, I was just try uh, trying to edit the video at the time of recording. I mean, what did you expect from me? Probably proofreading, I'm guessing. But it showed that after the release of the trailer for the Season 2 finale and the video itself, my comment sections on my videos are on lockdown for a long time since then, and that I can only filter out good comments are held, if any, from the garbage comments again, if any. And oh boy, let's say the comments that were held that I saw were par for the course for uh, for the uh, type uh, type of crap. Actually, one comment was so butchered it unintentionally turned into English. <laughs> I know, I haven't made an English or science video, uh, calm down, I know, I'm just uh, trying to f I, you know, I'm trying to think of com uh, think of uh, a script for the material I have, okay? So yeah, months after that, things have calmed down in my mind, but in a way, I was going to tackle them as antagonists, but someone has assuaded me from doing so, and that person and I had a civil, or to put it, war between the states, yeah I know, referencing Rocky and Bowling co conversation, and sa uh, said for me to rewrite on who the antagonists are. Then I thought about a few undeletable files that are plaguing my current uh, current laptop and thought I'd change the names to those what I call phantom files. That and the original parody names? Who knows, I might make them original characters for the season. Which does lead to me cross-referencing episodes 2 and 3 of Bogus Windows Errors Season 3 and the change of, and intended slip of the original title of, the name of the location, which yes, uh, is made up. Zadakistan, the location uh, name, was the original uh, name of it, and I do think about uh, doing something about it for episode 4 or later. The sign change of the location renamed from that to the Nashistan, referencing Dax dealing with a certain sect of scumbags which I won't name. Why I left the original name of the location in a line in season three, well, episode three, is well. To be honest, I kind of felt like it. But in terms of episode four, I do have plans to uh, as of why in universe it was changed and who the antagonists actually are. What well, happens next? Well, that'll be seen next episode. The second item on the topic is. <sighs> A comment that just recently upended rele uh, releasing the comments from being held. The first comment I did leave and replied, but the second one's just jumping straight to conclusions, taking an immediate, baseless conclusion over, yes, my use of Doom music. While that person will uh, have to go unmentioned in this video, even though the name of it, uh, name is in the credits, that one commenter jumped to conclusions that it was someone native <laughs> despite, well, the drama that made him drop from YouTube. I'm going to have to say this, just because I wanted to use Doom music when I felt like it, if I didn't feel like finding fitting music for a specific scene, doesn't mean you have to liken my choice of picking a song from the Doom franchise to him immediately. Yeah, I'm sure certain songs are likened to being memes or to a specific person for positive or negative uh, uh, reasons. I mean, if someone uses, for example, Scarlet Fire, Scarlet F
Scarlet Fire, they will liken it to Dank Pods because, well, it's the most used song from Dank Pods, even if it's uh, used for earbud breaking. But if someone else uses Scarlet Fire, you immediately think Dank Pods, and for good reasons. Uh, I mean, if you hear Doom music being used by Yearning Tree, would you immediately liken it to who you immediately target when you hear it for hate reasons? No. That is... And if the credits did have his name on it, yeah, you would uh, immediately open fire blindly, but two things. One, you can't just go and attack me for do music being used at my own volition. If there was text that wasn't uh, typed by me and has his name on it, then yeah, that would be him being the co-writer for it. And two... YouTube's dislike button is disabled, and let's be reasonable, while it is double-edged, let's face it, it does help that I just disable likes and dislikes anyway, and that was w way before YouTube removed public dislikes. But the second thing isn't really relevant to the big picture here, isn't it? Anyways, for those disgusted at me for simply choosing to use a song from Doom, and you need to liken it to someone you clearly don't know who, who it actually is, and just randomly fire, I guess, uh, with nothing connecting to it, then you are just being an actual, ha actual hateful person for uh, for them using Doom music at, in their projects, okay? You wonder why I kept comments held for review aside from what I said uh, in the first item in this video, huh? These two points do add up to one simple thing. If you do not like my videos, you do not have to watch them. It is a simple fact of choice, right? If you do not like my stuff, or my channel is what it's associated with, you don't have to go and watch my videos. Don't just click on my video just to drop a dislike dump, even though dislikes are removed anyway, so it doesn't matter, with occasionally choosing to drop a disgusting comment, chanting whose name, or, uh, or immediately saying the name of a person you dislike. If you continue to do so, then you have a problem and clearly have nothing to do with your life other than to pick on people to start a fight for no other reason than to start a fight. The world itself is full of opportunities as well as dangers, and yes, the internet is as vast as the planet we live in, but it also has its own dangers such as, well, Internet trolls. I don't really have anything to follow, uh, follow this up, but in summation, if you don't like my stuff, don't watch it. And if you keep wanting to start shit just to start shit, you clearly have a micro penis and need to touch grass. And this message is to be heard by Daxter5150. And yes, this is as long as I know this when I was uh, writing this. You are a nice person, and whatever plans you have in the future, I wish the best of luck to you. Any sort of things that look like uh, it was meant to mock, I did not plan or intend, even if it's premeditated. The content you make, while mine pales in comparison to yours, I did not plan to challenge, and I'm sure your But Shush Happens series will still be watched by your fans. I'm sure that any grudges you had by those who you, who you knew, myself included, waned out and would let bygones be bygones. The one and only thing I expect is this. Whoever is still firing accusations to think I work with <laughs> tell them to stop, even if it's a more than just one fan, but a legion. I can understand them wanting to put you on a pedestal, but again, I don't intend to challenge. I'm just someone whose channel started as a trash can, starting off as trying to do the Phoenix wrong stuff like everyone else at the time and just made random garbage from there, and my channel's still a trash can for what'll become 15 years in a few months. Yes, five years ago, when uh, Bogus Windows Air started, and, the, and yes, we were friends, and I do apologize for my ego inflating from the short 300 sub stint. And yes, I clearly didn't deserve having that stint back then. Yeah, lessons are to be learned when maintaining friendships and fame, and cashing out one for the other would make someone look like a sellout. And yes, I deserve that derision. <clears throat> Again, 
you are a nice person and really, as stated, my channel started off in the trash and is still in the trash close to 15 years later and I don't intend to overpower you or G-Wizard or your friends or Shelby or anyone you know uh, you are or once uh, was friends with. Sure, you fans are still going to take this entire video out of context and make it look like I spout contradictions. But the truth of the matter is yes, in terms of generally random content in the small YouTuber space, you are the better man. And well, I don't intend on taking that crown, I'm just eating my ramen, playing my video games, and just streaming by my lonesome every week. And with that, keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep doing what I'm doing and I'm hoping the past that happened stays even if one or two people are still apparently scarred by the damage that the drama caused. This has been Blazing Components You, and that was my point of address. And to this, I'll sum it up like this. Don't assume, don't hate, and to Dex, you're still a good person. Still enjoy your Warfiana Rust video still.